Welcome to making copper and brass maple leaves. In this video, as in all my videos, you're going to see a step-by-step -step progression. Each step that I do to create the, in this case, the single maple leaves, copper and brass, a small spray, and also a medium-sized spray. Medium meaning about oh, 40 inches long by about 28 inches wide. Now I've made sprays up to like seven feet long and you know like four feet wide. Once you have these techniques down you'll be able to transfer this over to make any size spray that you want to. Plus the fact if you decide that you'd like to make a sassafras spray or an oak leaf spray the same techniques apply. Once you find the leaf that you like, then use a felt marker and draw around the leaf. You've got the complete outline. Then use a pair of aviation snips to cut out your permanent pattern. Now this is my permanent pattern. And you can hear that real raspy sound. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the branches, branches for the tree. And I use this to make sweeping curves in the rod. Okay, using the rods I curved earlier, you know, I laid this out. Then I found that I needed one right in here that would be 24 inches. So, you know, this is longer, looks six inches longer. The rest of them are all 18. Now, I'm going to braise these together. Right here is this little S shape I put in here for additional support. Okay, now we're going to flame color the leaves. Just using a very light flame here. It might actually cut your flame down some. Let's go around like that. You can just bring out those colors. The color that you get is somewhat dependent upon how clean the leaves are, you know, how well brushed they are. You've got to anticipate a little bit because it will continue to color after you've taken the torch away. The nice part about this is if you don't like what you get, you can wire brush it again and start over. Okay, now I'm ready to start putting this piece together. Okay, we'll start here first with a copper leaf. I use a brass leaf over here. Once we get these in, it pretty much determines the spacing. So you can do this to you know your own taste. Spread them out or get them close together. And when you pull your torch out from in there, you kind of want to make sure that you don't get it on one of the copper leaves or you'll add to the color. Or maybe just ruin that flame coloring. Now 
To give you an example of how you can make a larger spray, taking the same spray that we did, and I added a section right here, another 18 inch section. So now we've got about 48 inches.